and Keith out here working. How's the how's the leg right now? Where you at percentage wise? Hundred percent, man. You know, just had to take it slow. You know, do what I need to do to get better. Eat right, and uh, feels better. It's good to be back out here, man. Working. Not too many weeks uh, away until you move up to College Station, your new home there in Aggie Land. How does that feel? It feels good. It felt like you know, ain't it was the first choice for me, and uh, you know. Kind of got dismantled because, you know, the coaching staff and lost connection, but I always knew being active was where I was supposed to be, be close to home, my family, and represent my city. That's what I want to do. Oh, Rashad's got an excellent uh, facility here, works with some of the top guys at not only the collegiate level like yourself, but also at the NFL level. What, you know, day one with him, how's that, how's that going? What have you learned so far? Man, it's all about the feet. You just got to think. You got to go hard work. You know, everything, you know. That's right. Running back can't take that many hits in the league or in college. You know, our lifespan is not that long. But he's teaching me how to prevent that, prevent injuries, and, and get better stats and make me a better player all around. Now you have to sit out a year, obviously, but this is a kind of a testament to your hard work. You're, you know, you're no days off, even though you know you're not going to be eligible to play for another year. What, what does that say about you and your determination? You know what? Like I've I've realized what I have to sacrifice transferring, and by doing this, by coming here. Mentors that actually think they believe me and working hard, being with guys that work hard, you know, the season, when my time comes, it's gonna come. And uh, y'all gonna have to watch, because it's gonna come. Wait, what? Yeah, we gotta keep the head. Give me that work, give me that work. There you go, get close to that, turn it, turn it. Stick, stick, there you go, pop, 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 jump, get up. Go to the end zone, go to the end zone. There you go, give me key, off the spin. Last up, we gonna water up. There you go. Give me that. Give me that work. Give me that work. There you go. There you go. Spit up. Good. Creep. Creep. Go. Stick. Yeah. Spit up. Jump. Good. 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 All right, Keith. Day one, you're hydrating. <laughs> Throw up twice already. Today's workout. Obviously, putting in a, a lot of hard work right out of the gate. I mean, explain to us, you know, some of the things that are important to you over this next year, developing your game to be ready to go in 2016. Um, you know, I played two years at OU, and I just want to really mature and get better as a, a, a player. I want to, I want to be like AD. I'm going to go all day, and I'm willing to work. Work with the guys, the staff out here, man. They made me throw it twice, kick my butt, but it's worth it at the end of the day. I just got done, but I'll, I'll probably be back up here tomorrow. But just work on everything, man. Ball handling, strength. They're gonna work with me. They're gonna take care of me, and I'm happy. Stop and go, man. Oh, see, 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 here you go. Quick twist, because I ain't ain't worried about speed. Same thing I tell the kid. I need to pass. I'm trying to see him to a quick twist. He's like, ah, that fast. Ah, you got grace. That's what I want to see. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Yeah. Now, here. Now, here. Get up. Up here. Up here. Back up. Back up. A line bang will come here. Walk through. He's going to be just like this. Watch your feet. Oh, it's a wrap. I promise you it's a wrap. I promise you. Just like any defense back, just talk to do what? Watch your, talk to watch your feet. I mean, watch your hips. That's what we want. I want that linebacker to, to watch your feet. I want That's good. Half speed now, half speed. So look, once you, uh, once you hook up, There you go, Keith. There you go, Keith. Come back. Drop. There we go. Pop, pop. Break down. Pop. Good. There you go, Keith. Good. Uh, Keith, now Coach Solomon said that you know he's a guy you feel like can be an instant impact when you're when you're ready to go. Recap us how that conversation went. What, what he told you about how you know why he feels like you can be a guy um, that can play right away. You know he just you know he's a realist, and I felt that when I went to go talk to him, and he didn't just tell me what I wanted to hear. He want, he really told me what he thought about me, and why he wanted to come here. It's, you know, I went through the recruiting process, you know, right? And this point is different because I know what's going to happen. I know they're going to sell it to me. But the fact is that he actually sat down and talked to me and 
and treat me like a man. It was unbelievable to have somebody like him, like my father, tell me what my father uh, tells me every day from a different person. So, you know, he's a, he's a good guy, good father, and he's a good role model. How do you feel about him and where he's at building the Texas A&M program? Obviously, you guys went up against him a couple years ago yeah. in the ball game and saw what they're capable of offensively. But in your words, how do you, how do you feel how he's building that, that A&M program right now? He's building it from the ground up, making sure he brings the right people in and and make sure everybody does things right, not just being on the team. You know, grade point average went up, everything. The school, he's changing that school so dr dramatically. and. You know, I'm not gonna say, but as a black man, you know, that's hard. Yeah. And have that role model and have the head coach spot, you know, is, is really good to look at that because I can be in that position one day and be that type of role model that everybody wants to be and the kids look up to.